everyone it's Rachel again um, I'm gonna have a go today at doing a um, picture of Aurora Borealis um, usually I find it's easier if you do it with the oils because they flow a lot easier people struggle with doing it with acrylics I know I have so I'm gonna give it another go today just to see if it can be done um, the colors I'm gonna use um, I've got primary magenta it's just a, a cheap cheap paint I've got the graduate Dola Rowney primary blue and fallow turquoise by Dola Rowney again graduate paint I'm going to use those I'm also going to use a bit of titanium white okay and you'll see what I'll do with that in a moment um, to help with the um, acrylics so hopefully like flow them across my little canvas um, a bit easier I've got the Galleria fluid retarder um, it slows down drying time because obviously acrylics dry really really quickly so um, I just got that from my local store and I'm gonna have a go with that and see if that helps um, so I've already prepped my little canvas and I've painted it in black I've used Mars Black uh, System 3 Dial Roni. So I'm literally just gonna, I've, my colors are out on my palette already. Um, I've got a damp brush um, and I'm just gonna start stroking on the colors that I want to use. Um, uh, they won't show up very much on the canvas. Um, I'm doing it the same way as I, I did my oil one. So I'm kind of hoping that it might, it might work. All we can do is try it so let's give it a whirl so I'm just gonna dip my brush into the fluid retarder which I've just got in a little pot next to me um, I'm gonna go for the primary blue first and I'm just gonna stroke it actually that is quite bright I don't know how this is gonna work because I know when I did my earth from space the other day it actually was quite dark but uh, hopefully when it dries it might be a little bit darker because really what you don't want to see you don't want to see these colors like this on your canvas you want them to sort of dry into the background and then the white comes in but we'll see see what happens I'm literally just gonna butt these up next to each other just blend them kind of in actually I can tell the difference I forgot to dip my brush into the retarder for the magenta and I can tell already that feels like it's drying so I've just dipped it in now I'm just going to go over it and damp that with the retarder and now I'm going to wash my brush dry it a little bit dip it back into the retarder and then I'm going to go in with my magenta, uh, my fallow turquoise So they are still looking a bit bright. I can see they are drying slightly darker, especially the primary blue. But let's see how this goes. See, normally by now, if I was working with oil, you'd have your black background, you'd paint your colours on that you've chosen, and you wouldn't see those at all across the canvas. But if you look at this, you can actually see them quite brightly. So really that's not ideal but let's just get on with it because I don't want it to obviously you know start drying out on me so then what I do usually you I've got a fan brush I'm gonna just dip the tips of the fan brush into my titanium white and then I'm just gonna sort of dot it round in the pattern that I really want them to be. So I'm 
so let's do it from I'll do it from the bottom so Okay, so I think well, because it's such a small canvas, I'm just going to do it like this at the moment. You can see actually, because the colours are still wet under there, it is slightly picking up the um, magenta, the primary blue, the turquoise is gradually coming through that white. So uh, now what we do, I'm going to get my flat, flat ended brush. So I wonder if I've got a drier one would probably be better. But see that one not there's not really big enough. That's, and this is too big, but hey ho, let's have a go. Right then, here we go. So I'm literally gonna use this. This is way too big to be fair, but it's the only one that I've got to hand. Um some of my other brushes, I don't know what I've done with them. They've been put everywhere all over the place and I can't find them but let's have a little go with this one anyway so right so you need to sweep so you sweep I'll go with the little one first and then you just sweep in the direction you want it to go That's not a bad result actually for acrylics. I think the only way I've managed to achieve that is through that retarder, fluid retarder, to be honest. Because obviously it does slow down the drying time, so. So that titanium white there has already started to dry a little bit, so I'm just going to get my fan brush again dry it off as much as I can. I've got a towel led out next to me so I use that just to dry it off as best I can. Dip it a tiny bit into the fluid retarder. you hear that knocking sound I'm actually just tapping the edge of my flat brush into the retarder just gently I'm not soaking the brush it's just the tips I'm wetting on there just gonna bring that over just stretch out that fallow turquoise just over the edge a little bit too bad actually that isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be I just want to try and pick up a little bit more of the whiteness if I can because that adds the highlight Again. 
like I wouldn't say it's a work of art it's not something that you'd probably want to sell but uh, it kind of gives you the idea so if I pick you up and bring you over and I'll show you it in the window light it might show you but oh that's not such a bad picture actually yeah see if I put you in the window it's too much light on it so that's kind of like the result you get if I zoom in you can see just about see where I would have put the white and then I just literally flicked it flicked it up but it kind of gives you an idea you know it was better definitely with the fluid retarder which is this stuff that just slowed down the drying time and allowed me to flow but for me the best results for the northern lights is oil oil paint that's usually the the one that works for me so uh all right well i hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to have a little bash at the acrylic give it a go but i definitely advise to get some kind of um retarder or a medium that's gonna allow your acrylic paint to dry a little bit slower um just so that you can flow it through and you know just work with it easier because as soon as it dries you're not going to be able to spread it out you're not going to be able to smooth it it's not going to give you the effect that you want so uh okay so if you uh if you like that little video um like and subscribe because i'm you know i'm pretty new to this so uh, i'm relying on you guys to sort of help me out and you know i'll do some more paintings and different things because i have a go with all different mediums so um there will be some more videos in that up and coming and hopefully i'll get better at this youtube thing you know presenting it and things like that but uh you know everyone's got to start somewhere so have a good day guys and thanks for watching bye for now